there's no guarantee that they can, in, in all cases, get all the individuals. Sometimes they may get um, people involved, perhaps at the lower level, but maybe people at the higher level have covered their tracks well enough that they don't get prosecuted successfully or even prosecuted at all. I'll give you one example where uh, they managed to successfully prosecute a number of, of different people in the coven. So this is, in, in a way, it's, it's one of the more positive recent examples of what the police can do successfully in, a, in, a, in an SRA case when they actually try to do their job. I actually went to a talk by one of the police detectives on this case, and um, she made it clear that it wasn't easy, but because they persisted and they had the will to pursue the investigation, they achieved this successful prosecution of a number of Satanist abusers. And in my view, that is an example of what other police forces can achieve across the UK if they actually had the will to investigate and pursue these investigations. The biggest problem is not lack of resources. The biggest problem is lack of will, you see? So um, I'll, I'll read out this successfully prosecuted case and it'll give you an example of what can be achieved when the police are willing to do their job. On March 11th, 2011, Colin Backley, the leader of a Satanist coven, was convicted at Swansea Crown Court, that's in Wales, of more than 20 sexual offenses against children, including 11 rapes. He and other Satanists had ritually abused children in Tidwelly, Wales, where their coven was based. The children, some as young as 11, were subjected to, and I quote, organized and systematic abuse by Batley, his wife, and two women coven members. So it wasn't just Batley who got prosecuted, his wife and two women coven members. Jacqueline Marling, age 42, was jailed for 12 years for aiding and abetting rape, causing prostitution, indecency with a child, and inciting a child to engage in sexual activity. Badley's wife, Elaine, age 47, was jailed for eight years on three charges of indecency with a child and sexual activity with a child. Shelley Miller, age 35, was jailed for five years for indecency with a child and inciting a child to engage in sex. A fifth defendant, Vincent Barden, age 70, admitted assaulting an underage girl. So this was a, a pretty good prosecution and successful prosecution against a Satanist group that managed to get uh, custodial sentences for a lot of the members of the group. And is a positive example of what can be achieved if the police want to achieve it. It all comes back to will, willingness to really go for the, for the investigation, pursue it thoroughly. Have you ever been to one of these or ever seen, witnessed one of these rituals? I've witnessed a ritual um, Satanists leaving a ritual having just finished. Where and was it? When, when was it? What, what did it look like? It was, well, it was indoors, so I couldn't get in, but I saw them leaving the ritual because I didn't get there till quite late at night because I'd been at other locations, checking out other locations before I got there. Uh, and that was the one with the Satanist meeting in the building. And they were leaving and driving off but I saw in a car, uh, at the back of the car, there was a man about age 40 years old, and in the front was a boy. Um, and of course, you've got to ask yourself, it was about 4 a.m. What is a boy at 4 a.m. doing in the front of a car, not in bed, uh, with this man dressed as, well, he was dressed like Dracula at the back. Dracula? Uh, yeah, and wow. that in itself causes a lot of questions. Why is this boy up at 4 a.m.? And why is he sitting in a car with a man dressed as Dracula in the back? Okay, it was Halloween, but may, and that was probably their cover story. Oh, you know, it was just a Halloween party. But keeping a boy up to that this, time, was, this was on Halloween? 
on yeah, thirty first October, which is okay. their biggest date on the sat Satanist calendar. Uh, if there's one day they will come out and do a ritual somewhere, it will be thirty first October. It, to them, it, it's the most important date of the year. Why is that? Um, also, because of the belief that that is when the the barriers between this world and the spirit world become most e easily crossed. Uh, and they have, of course, a desire to get in contact with demons, to raise demons, uh, to communicate with demons. So this would be a pretty good time for them to try and raise the demons and communicate with demons because of the the lowering of the barriers between the physical and the spirit world uh, in their beliefs. Um, they, they would usually meet on this date. So that makes it a bit easier to do surveillance because other dates, sometimes they'll meet on the actual date. Sometimes they'll meet a bit earlier on another date uh, or after that date. Birthdays you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, birthdays normally I think they would meet on the birthday itself um, another occasion when I knew they were meeting unfortunately these tended to be indoors rather than outdoors outdoors would be so much easier to see them what they're doing uh, was in a house that I know is protected by the police because I know someone who tried to expose that house as being used for SRA and the police not only refused to do anything but actually threatened this person for nosing about in that area and, and warned her that she might get hurt from nosing around where it wasn't, they claim, her business. Of course it was her business because her own child had revealed being abused in that house and the police were protecting it. it, it it's a location that has been used for SRA for many years and I was there on the outside. Um, legally, I couldn't just go in. Uh, and I knew that the Satanists were in there because I could see their, their, um, their vehicles on the outside. And uh, I heard a scream in, from inside, uh, uh, a young girl at about 3 a.m. It was a short scream. Uh, if it had been a long scream and help me, uh, that calling out for help, then I would probably have had more legal justification to force my way in. Mm. Uh, but because it was a short scream and it didn't repeat itself for the rest mm. of the night, uh, it was hard to have a legal grounds to, to force my way in. Because if I force my way in and there isn't reasonable grounds to right. justify that, then uh, then the tables could be turned and I could be accused of breaking the law. So this is the difficulties one has when you're talking about indoors meetings. They do meet outdoors a lot. The, the, the tricky thing is to get them outdoors when they're meeting uh, because they have a variety. Most covens will have a variety of outdoor and indoor locations for security reasons and they'll move from one place to another. And I noticed that if they meet at one location on Halloween, the next Halloween, they'll make sure they meet at another location so they don't become predictable. Okay. And but can you walk if, through what happened? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. But, but if, um, if one was to come across them doing a ritual, uh, I think it's important to to at the very least try and get the police there. Uh, I, I would suggest to audience members, uh, if they ever come across, sometimes, I, I know in the UK at least, sometimes people have stumbled on accidentally to Satanist rituals uh, in, in the middle of the night uh, when they were in the woods, for example. And, and I would say, try and get the police there as soon as possible if you see that harm is being done to children, 
Mm. Even the presence of children there is enough to, to warrant police interest because what on earth are children doing in the middle of the night in this location? They should all be in bed, you know, and right. it's very suspicious. Uh, and this, this is what one should do uh, on those rare occasions that one stumbles across these things. Uh, and I've seen some accounts of people stumbling on such things. Uh, when they least expect it sometimes and uh, they come across this satanist gathering uh, it, it, in a usually it's a countryside area or, or, or woods <laughs>